Hello rat bags, it's Jade, welcome to a grounded video. Today we're going to be covering everything you need to know about bees. It's just launched with the mosquitoes and the fireflies, but we're going to go over the arm sets, why you don't necessarily need to go too close to the beehive at the moment, and everything you need to know about the bee stinger and the full bee armor. How good is it? So please make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Let's go, everything you need to know about bees. So I'm assuming that some people might not realise you can get some of the Rotten Bee armor set and the Bee Stinger. So I'm going to show you the quick location just in case. And a reminder, it's in the Ant Hill. Here it is on the map just to show you guys on this location. Ground Road's been out like nearly seven months now. So I know a lot of you guys know exactly where this Bee armor set is. But I'm still going to just show it for the noobs. Keep going down this tunnel. Take the left hand side route, it's the way I go, you can go the other way, it's up to you, but this is the way that I prefer going, all the way down, and then eventually we'll get to another fork, take the right hand side, and this is where you're going to find sometimes food and the bee armor set, as well as the chip to unlock some more stuff, so make sure you pick up all this stuff, and that's the first part of the rotten bee armor set. From here I simply go out and I turn right, and there should be some water, just duck down, swim all the way through, and you're in the next part. Be careful that at the moment, if you take a torch into the water, it doesn't work afterwards, so you're going to need a couple of torches. Here in this red room, you'll find some again. The next part of it is on the right-hand side. That's the legs, just to show you guys you've got the red grass on the ceiling. And there is a little hole that drops into the part where you just picked up the first part of it. So you can do it that way too. I'm kind of just showing you everything to do with this anthill. You can get the scab there. Keep following that tunnel, and you'll be in a bigger chamber, and there should be a little ledge. Up on top of this ledge is the third and final piece of the bee armour. Next up, I'm just going to show you where the Rotten Stinger is. Again, this has been in the game for a couple of months now, so ever since the water update, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. But jump into the water and dive straight down in this kind of location until you follow the cable that goes through the hole in the ground. You don't need any type of breathing apparatus or anything to get through here. You can simply just go and do it because there is oxygen bubbles that rise up next to this T-Rex. Inside his mouth is the Rotten Stinger. So scan all of them at the analyzer and it will unlock the full bee suit for you to go and make. You just simply then have to go and get the resources. We'll cover it in a little bit more detail in a second, but I did want to show you something else. Apollo now is meant to only spawn at the top of flowers. So any flowers like these, hopefully there'll be some pollen, but it's probably going to be the ones that have got like the little sort of cup inside them. I didn't find too many near the roses. I do think it's a little bit bugged at the moment, but that's the idea that loads of pollen is going to spawn here. And that's how you're meant to go and see if you can get some bees if you just want one without having to go all the way over to the beehive, which is on the picnic bench all the way to the west of the map. The bees pretty much visit all of these flowers and they eventually will gather some of the pollen and take it back to the beehive where they convert it into nectar. Now I'm using some cheats here just to show you guys quickly but if you do build up to the beehive you can get inside it just a little entrance way and pick up some of the nectar. It is hard. The bees are neutral. They won't attack you normally unless you get too close to the beehive or you do simply go and attack them. As you can also tell, there's no actual honey in this beehive, it is just nectar at the moment. Really, you don't need to visit this place just yet. It looks like the beehive is still a placeholder, it's going to be changed once more, and that means if you try and build any sort of complicated trap or building around it, you'll find that it might destroy your base when they do remodel it again. This is the second time though, they've already had one model go up, but I just don't think this is the finished model, so in future updates, expect this to be changed. It does look like the mechanic of the bees in the future is going to be something similar to ants. That they'll want to get their pollen, and so if you have any pollen in your base, the bees may come and attack it. That's the kind of thing that I'm getting from it. The devs already said they're working on making aerial creatures attack your bases, so this is kind of the only way that I can see them doing it. But for now, you really don't need to be this close to the beehive. You get some nectar inside, but it's not like millions. You can easily get just as much nectar running around exploring the rest of the map. Plus, don't forget I'm doing this in cheat mode. These bees will kill you instantly if you haven't got the right type of armor on. Even if you have got the right armor, they will pretty much make mincemeat out of you. The good thing about this beehive and the picnic table is that the bees do come here to sleep at night time. And if you do want to get lots of the bee fur, then you're going to have to come here to kill quite a few of them. And it's probably one of the easiest ways which I'm going to show you. But here I'm just showing you that when they're asleep, if you attack one, then you may aggro a couple more nearby. But normally it's only one or two that will wake up. They do come here at night time to sleep for the whole night. 
So I've made a really simple little thing. I mean, you can make it even more simpler just by the rocks near the beehive. And this is gonna be one of the best ways to get bees. Now do remember they are pretty dangerous. They can destroy your base. In fact, they destroy your base pretty hard. They can also get through the walls and ceilings with their actual stingers. So you're gonna to need to make sure you've got plenty of space so they can't get to you. What I did here was test and experiment to see if the lure trap worked. It doesn't at the moment, so maybe that will in the future. So at the moment, just ignore that. And I thought I'd try and build like a gateway to lure them in. You can see they get stuck on the piece of ceiling. If this happens, everything is great. You'll be able to kill them super easy with a bow and an arrow. Or if you're really super careful, you can even do it with a spear. Just get a little bit closer and you should be okay. As long as you get them to follow you and they do get stuck on a piece of ceiling, so try and build exactly what I've kind of built in terms of having a ceiling piece just higher than a fence piece so that you can fire arrows just in case they come around from a different direction. It does go wrong sometimes though. As I said, I'm showing you guys why it's important to leave a little gap so you can fire any that are close by. But if you do aggro more than one or two or you don't get it in the right space, you can see they're breaking through my ceiling and through my walls now. If this happens, run outside your base, just keep running away, and after a while they'll lose interest. You should be able to outrun them pretty easily. And as you saw, the stinger got right through the ceiling piece. So let's go over the stats. The Rotten Bee armor set only gives you about one protection, maybe slightly higher, and it doesn't give you any sort of perk when you wear all three pieces. You do get the sprint distance perk though when you're equipping each one of these. So that's pretty decent. That's gonna give you longer running for uh, without running out of stamina. As quick as you can, you might wanna try and get the best B armor set though, as this gives you a huge amount more extra protection. You go from having just over one in fact for the rotten armor set, so it gives you nearly four overall to having nearly two and a half for each piece of it. So you get nearly seven and a half defense with a proper full B armor set. The perk you get for wearing all three pieces of the B armor set is the pollen shot. It does look like it does a little bit of stun damage to bees. It doesn't have as big effect as something like the spider with the hunter's perk, but it does definitely give them a little bit of a stun and then you can keep wading on them with more arrows. And I think that applies to any creature that you fire arrows at, it's gonna be good for stunning them. The Bee Stinger Spear, it's gonna give you extra damage, but it's the same stun and it's the same speed as a normal spear, but it does have an extra critical perk, so you'll get more critical hits on creatures while using the Bee Stinger. To make it, you're gonna need one Bee Stinger, five Bee Fuzz, and four Silk Ropes. It's pretty expensive. You normally get one to two Bee Fuzz every time you kill a bee, but it's not always guaranteed to get a Bee Stinger every time. It's kind of a bit random, so you might have to kill three, maybe even five bees before you get one. For the bee face mask, you're gonna need five bee fuzz, three silk rope, and two berry leather. So again, it's really expensive to get this arm set, particularly how much work you're gonna to have to do killing all the bees. Then it's gonna be four bee fuzz for the shoulders, one bee stinger, and four berry leather. And finally, for the shin guards, four bee fuzz, four silk rope, and four berry leather again. So you're probably going to have to kill at least 10 to 12 bees to get the full armor set. And that's hopefully getting a couple of pieces of the bee fuzz. Otherwise, it will be 18 bees to get the bee armor set and the bee stinger. So yeah, you're going to have to experiment with some sort of little mini full or little outpost near the beehive. As I still think this is the best way rather than trying to get them when you're trying to go near the flowers. If you try and take a flower down, like chop it in half while bees nearby, it doesn't really do anything. You won't also get any pollen from it either. You do need to climb at the top of it to grab some. Also not working very well right now is the pollen accumulator. It just doesn't do anything. You can place it down, but there's no boxes to put the pollen inside. So I'm hoping that's gonna be fixed and added properly soon too. Once some of the traps work a bit better, all things like the lure arrows, which currently aren't working for the bees either, they don't pay any attention. I think it'll be a lot easier to get the bee fur, but at the moment, this is kind of the only way to build something close by. They have a couple of different style attacks. This is the first one where they kind of hit you three times. They'll swing in once and then try attacking you twice more. You can get a lot of hits in if you're using the Bee Stinger because it's very quick. So I would definitely recommend using that one. And then they have a similar diving attack, but sometimes they only do it once, so it's a lot easier to avoid. You can't really jump out the way. I've tried a couple times. Unless you've got super mad reflexes, you might be able to run forward and get underneath their dive. I have got God Mode on here using a cheat from PC just to show you guys some close-up action with the bees and their attacks. 
Of course, you will be able to block it with the shield, so that will be a lot easier for sure. But otherwise, these guys will pretty much one-hit you if you're not wearing anything decent. Ants and Clover are a big no-no while taking these guys on. So yeah, get ready. In the future, I expect the bees to be a lot more dangerous and wanting their pollen back. And I'm guessing we're going to need pollen to make certain things. And that's why they'll go and attack your bases in the future. But right now, bees are pretty harmless. They'll leave you alone as long as you don't go near their beehive. If you do manage to kill one of them, sometimes it aggroes some of them nearby, or they'll come and investigate if there's a couple nearby. But generally, they're usually too far away. There has been issues with overspawn, so look out for that. And if you are going to try and get some near flowers, be careful. I found a lot of mosquitoes near some of the flowers resting during the day. I hope this little guide has been useful. If it has, make sure you leave a like. Check out the next ones that are coming for the Mosquito and the Firefly. And I'll see you guys for more Grounded content updates news very soon. Until next time, Ratbags. Laters.